So you want to learn how to spice up your boring title cards from something like this into something crazy just like this using AI? Well, I'm about to break it down inside of this tutorial. It's actually pretty simple to do and I've seen creators like Yo Tokyo doing this. So huge shout out to him, but I have to spill the sauce. So let's jump right into it. But real quick before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know that I'm Lurking Visuals and I run my own editing store where we sell editing presets and assets for video editors just like you. We got some crazy preset packs for After Effects and Premiere Pro, but also some editing assets for all editing softwares that will help you speed up your workflow in a crazy way. And if you're watching this during the holidays around New Year, Years, then I'm actually running huge BOGO sale which means buy one get one free so if you add one pack to your cart you'll get another one for completely free and if you add four packs to your cart you'll be getting two of them for completely free so if that sounds interesting to you check the first link in the description but let's get right into the tutorial so I kind of cheated I'm already pretty prepared and for this example I'll be making a title card for this laser the music video and actually I'll just show off what I did real quick all I did was basically create the text then create a keyframe scaling it up and using graph to look something like this then I turned it into a 3D layer, created a camera and a null. And then I parented the camera to the null and just sized up the Z position so I can have a zoom right here and then the face pops up. It's pretty simple and you actually don't need to do this. That's just how I wanted to spice it up because you need to have the face coming in somewhere so you can use the AI on that. And also created a scale for my artist's face which I just cut out from this picture right here. And this is actually what the AI will affect so it will be on his face. So I won't go through much of the title card, but now to get this crazy AI effect, all you gotta do is just pick a part that you want the AI to affect. And I kinda want the AI to come in right here after my artist face pops up. So I'll be putting the work area to this part right here. And you can do this in any software, it doesn't have to be After Effects. And then I'll just export this as a PNG file, as a picture. And then I'll just quickly export it out and then I'll head over to pixverse.ai and I've used this AI in another tutorial which I liked a lot so for this one I'll be importing the picture and I tried it out a couple of times that's why I have all of these but I'll import the latest one and you can pick between all of these styles to spice up your title card but what I'll be doing is actually heading to ChatGPT. And I told ChatGPT to write me a prompt for an AI like this and it says show, show off your strong muscles and then start screaming loudly and aggressive. And then ChatGPT came up with this. So all I do is just copy that prompt and then paste it in here. Which costs 30 credits and you get 90 per day I think. So I'll go ahead and create one. And if you run out of credits you can just create a new account or pay like they want you to do. So. And this time I got something like this. <laughs> and I mean, this is just crazy. That's not what I was expecting compared to what I got last time. But I'll be trying out the prompt once again on the same frame and see what I get this time. And this time this is what I got, which is a little bit better, but I still don't like the background. So what I'll do instead is just use the one that I got before. And I'll drag that into After Effects and I'll spice it up with some effects. So I decided to upscale the AI and import it into After Effects. So this is what I got right now. And with this, I'll be adding on some effects and speeding it up a little bit because these AIs are always pretty slow. Cutting the clip right here and going to time and time stretch. And I'll be turning up the stretch factor to like 40. I'll speed it up a lot. Right now I have this. And I'll cut it right here again when these lightning balls come in and I can turn it down to 100 again. So I just speed up this part in the middle. And then I'm probably going to add some kind of shake in between here. So I'll create a new adjustment layer. Just right click, go to new and create new adjustment layer. And I'll cut it right there and head to my effects and presets. I'll probably use one of my presets from my shake pack, which you can find on my store essential shake pack and I got 20 different presets in here and I'm probably just going to use some subtle so I'll use subtle shake 2 I like this one a lot and just drag it on and I also got this glass shatter overlay that I'll be adding on when the AI comes in and I'll be dragging it under the shake and just sizing it up 
and if I find the link to this I'll make sure to leave it down in the description but I'll just line it up correctly now and add a tiny deep glow onto it this isn't necessary but I just like the look of this so I'll be doing this and now if I play it through this is what I got which is decent I'm happy with that but I still feel like I can spice it up even more so I'll be adding on a new adjustment layer and to this one I'll be dragging on some dark preset to kind of make it black and white and see what I get with that so I'll go to my animation presets and open up opium presets default and in here I'll use this black and white v3 and just remove the mirror and all of these presets are fully customizable so I'll just drag down the levels till I have something like this and see what I get with that if it looks good I'll probably keep it so I'll let everything load and see what I get now this is what I got and I'm pretty excited about it I think it looks good only thing I'm not a big fan of is that he's so white up here so what I'll do is just turn up a little bit but yeah this depends pretty much on what you like but now the final step before I'm done is to remove the watermark that you have up in the top right corner and to do that I'll be selecting all of the layers from the AI which will be these three and pre-compose them and move all attributes into new composition then I will open up that composition and when I'm in here you can see that I don't have any effects on the clips which will make it a lot easier what I'll do is simply just press Q on my keyboard to grab this tool up here and with this rectangle tool I'll be masking out that AI and invert the masking and now you can see that it's completely gone but what I will do now is use content aware fill if you can't find this just go up to corner and press content aware fill and then I'll be dragging it down like this and first set my work area to the part that I want to cut out and then press generate fill layer then we just wait for a couple of seconds and let it load see it's rendering right now and then it's pretty then it's pretty much generated like that and for the next clip I'll be doing the exact same thing because I cut them in different parts so I'll just set the work area once again and then go to this one paste the masking once again set the work area to this and generate fill layer as, and as you can see on this part it's just completely black so I didn't really have to do that but this was just to show off for you guys what you can do if you have a color background and with this much movement you can tell that the content aware fill didn't do a good job but that's whatever when I have these effects on it's not as visible but yeah that's pretty much it I don't have much more to go through but I hope you learned something new and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and as always packs will be linked in the description go check it out for yourself but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one